Hey guys, it's Alex. Welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. Today, this video is a little bit different. We normally don't do videos like this. We normally do, obviously, a podcast for those that have been following us for a while. In this video, I am in Washington State traveling uh, with my wife. This trip was right before we went on to a cruise that went to Alaska and Canada. And this is a month after we got back from Colombia and we are going back to Colombia a month later. So I'm putting this all into perspective to show you guys not in any form at all bragging. I just want to make things very transparent. My wife and I do not make more than $100,000 a year at our jobs individually. Combined, we make just above $100,000. So just to show you guys, you do not need this fancy social media promoted, you know, six figure million dollar income in order to travel and enjoy your life. My wife and I for the past five, six years have been putting our money together and growing our investments. We still do work at the same jobs that we have had for these past years, but being able to do things like this does not necessarily come from our job. It comes from the decisions that we make with our money that we make from our jobs. And what I mean by this is that we take the money that we make from our jobs and we invest it. For those that have been watching the channel, obviously you may know that Kirby and I, we invest in stocks and real estate. And that is primarily what my wife and I invest in stocks and real estate. And it's been a journey. I mean, we have been doing this, as I said, for years, and we've been very dedicated. We didn't start with our income being over $100,000 at our jobs. We started with $75,000 in combined income. But we always kept the same money habits. We always kept the same plan to invest more than 50% of our income. Typically, we invest about 70% of our income per year and we've been able to do this by living well below our means some of you may think that it's impossible to do but you really just have to be creative with where your expenses are you don't have to live an uncomfortable life to live below your means you just have to live a life with discipline and know what things are more important to you in life for my wife and i it's having our freedom it's not being dependent on a job it's having the ability to go on trips like this. And as I said, again, we don't make more than six figures at a job and we can travel once or twice every single month if we want to. We don't have to save for months and months and years and years on end in order to afford one trip. We don't have to go into credit card debt in order to afford a trip. We don't have to dip into our savings in order to afford a trip. All of these trips that we're going on, especially this one shown in this video, was paid for and are paid for with passive income that we have made by investing our active income into investments and allowing those investments to pay for things like this. You know, don't believe what you see on social media. Uh, social media typically tries to make everything seem like you've got to be a multimillionaire in order to enjoy life or you're just a slave to the system. It's really just where your mind is. What are your goals? What decisions are you making with your money? And that's the most important part that's going to allow you to be able to do things like this. My wife and I, we do not spend our money on Gucci bags and Gucci clothes and Louis Vuitton and brand new cars and jewelry and none of that stuff matters. None of those materialistic things matter. For one, it's a money pit. Your money devalues as soon as you buy those things. Uh, for two, it's a tangible thing that is worthless. I mean, having experiences like this, being able to travel are way more worth it to my wife and I than to buy something that we're gonna lose interest in a month from the purchase date. So you've gotta know what's more important to you and you've gotta dedicate yourself to those things that are important to you. You know, if you want to be able to quit your job eventually, you've gotta have some other income you've got to have passive income. And how do you get passive income? You have to have some kind of capital or other income to put towards that revenue producing source. 
you know, in my wife's case and in my case, it was, we worked a W-2 job. There's nothing wrong with working W-2 job, but use it as a stepping stool to get to something much further and much more important. There are also other ways to provide an income for yourself that can be passive. For example, my wife sells health insurance. It doesn't mean you have to be an insurance agent, but there's other forms of passive income in a sense where there are career opportunities and jobs where you do the work up front and as long as you maintain your clients, those clients pay you every single month and that is another way that you can make a passive income. So guys, I just want to post this video as a way of encouragement to show you that these things are achievable. You're not too far from achieving them. You just got to get serious and dedicate yourself. It's not hard to reach a, you know, six figure income and combined. Yes, my wife and I make over six figures with all of our investment income, our passive income, our W-2 job and all that stuff. But we definitely are not anywhere close to what you see on social media, what these influencers are making. And I just want to put it into perspective that me, my wife, normal people were able to do things like this. And all it took was discipline and dedication. And you can do it too. Thanks for watching. Check out more of our videos on our channel, especially if you want to learn how to do things like this. And stay tuned for more travel videos. We'll see you guys.